my dear friends today we shall reflect on the theme following jesus and one may ask what are the requirements that we need to follow jesus well we know that to follow jesus requires us to have a good intention zeal and dedication to work for his kingdom and in today's gospel we hear about the kingdom of god and over the time we have seen that the kingdom of god is completely different to what is there in today's world for example if we were to go for a job interview today for example if we need to apply for the post of a teacher you need to have your bachelor's degree your master's degree and also bed and other degrees as such if you if you are not specialized in that particular field you become ineligible to apply for the job but when it comes to following jesus to becoming a disciple of jesus there are no such requirements the only thing as i said earlier is you need to have the motivation the zeal and the desire to follow jesus wherever he goes and we see that that the disciples were simple they were fishermen having no big degrees they were not famous and they didn't know much about jesus as well but they immediately whenever he called they followed him and today's gospel invites us to reflect on the kingdom of god now the prophets had announced that god would establish a kingdom not just for one nation or people but for the whole world and therefore we see that at that time of jesus many of the people had the idea that the kingdom that jesus was talking about would be a kind of a regime it would be a kind of a government wherein jesus would come and overthrow what was there and build up a new regime but my dear friends when jesus speaks about the kingdom of god it is more of a reality it is more of a heaven on earth it is more of living the gospel values and experiencing god's love compassion and mercy right here on earth and therefore we see that the kingdom of god is a central aspect of the message of jesus it is the core of his gospel message and of his teaching and we realize that as soon as john the baptist finished his testimony jesus began preaching in galilee jesus was not afraid of those who were opposing him but he carried on his work with more zeal and enthusiasm because he knew what he was doing and he knew what it meant for the people and we see that there are two conditions that are required in order to live the kingdom of god and to follow jesus the first is to repent and to believe when we submit to christ's rule in our lives and believe the gospel the lord gives us the grace so that we may be able to look into ourselves and become new citizens he gives us the grace to renounce the kingdom of darkness that is ruled by sin and that governs our life at every moment we see that repentance means to change to change our way of thinking to change our way of looking at things to change our attitude our disposition and most importantly to change our life choices in this way we see that we need to choose the way of jesus and not the way that the world offers it is said that if we are only sorry for the consequences of our sin there is no much change that takes place in us but if we truly repent if we look at ourselves if we analyze what has gone wrong then we feel the guilt and we feel the desire to change and to lead a complete new life and that is what jesus calls us today to introspect to look at the areas where we need to grow and to make amends for it again jesus tells us that it's not too late even today right at this very moment we could take a decision and change our lives for the better and then we see that jesus invites us to be fishers of men just like the fishermen the four disciples who were called today we see that each one of us has been given a mission the mission of proclaiming the good news of the lord 
we see that it is not only the priests and the nuns who are supposed to do the work of evangelizing and proclaiming the good news. My dear friends, each and every one of us can be a witness of Christ by following his teachings and by being an example to the others. And therefore, as we begin to lead a new life, as we begin this change in our lives, we can ask ourselves this question. Do you believe that God wants to work in and through you in order to build the kingdom? And today, in a very special way, let us pray for this grace that we too may be able to introspect, to look at the areas of our lives where we need improvement and let us pray for the grace of the Lord that he may give us the grace to change and to live lives in a better manner, preaching the kingdom of God in all that we do. Amen.